Recently you can often see videos on which Russian fighters and helicopters flying at very low altitude. These low-flying maneuvers help them hide from radars and avoid attacks from Ukrainian anti-aircraft systems. But Ukraine now seems to have a solution to this problem, and its name is Jeppard. The Jeppard is an all-weather capable German self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, or SPAG, developed by Klaus Maffei Wigmann. The vehicle is based on the hull of the Leopard 1 main battle tank with a large fully rotating turret carrying the armament, a pair of 35mm autocannons. The Jepper has two radar dishes, a general search radar at the rear of the turret and a tracking radar and a laser rangefinder at the front between the guns. It is mobile and protected as it combines the basic chassis of a Leopard tank with a lightly armored turret. Its twin Orlikon cannons fire 500 runs a minute, out to a range of 5.5 km. The current version of the Jeopard is designed to overcome all challenges of the 21st century in defense against modern combat aircraft, attack helicopters, remote-controlled missiles and rockets. It can also fight combat drones. The ballistic projectiles cannot be destroyed by electronic defense measures, and the clouds or shrapnel they grenade will reliably destroy the target. It has a crew of three – driver, commander and gunner. The high mobility and turning speed of the tower allows the Jeopard to react instantly to an air target. Germany pledged to Ukraine 30 of these self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. Ukraine soldiers will use it to accompany tanks and infantry fighting vehicles, protecting them from Russian gunship helicopters and Su-25 attack jets flying underneath the radar horizon of longer-range surface-to-air missile batteries. Also, these systems will defend important infrastructure objects from attacks by helicopters and planes at low and ultra-low altitude. Effective range is up to 5.5 km, whereas the rocket installed on Russian helicopters can fire on target 6 to 8 km away. At the same time, the Jeopard, thanks to its search and tracking radars, can detect target at a range of 15 km, so the gun must remain undetected until the target within a range. So, can they make a big difference on the battlefield? Before we move on, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Let's get 1000 subscribers, so I could start to monetize my channel. This will allow me to continue to upload new videos. Thank you. According to Mikhail Zhirokov, Ukrainian military expert, the effectiveness of this weapon will be based on the numbers. Even 30 such system on the front line of 2000 km will not be able to change the situation radically, but they can provide up to 8 brigades with reliable protection from an air attacks. It is also worth noting that the quantity of ammunition should be significant. Jeopard is a very fast firing system and the ammo consumption in combat condition can be very high especially since there is no production of these shells in Germany, and Switzerland, which is the main manufacturing country, refuses to supply them, appealing to its neutrality. Now the German government, together with the Norwegian Defense Ministry, has found a local manufacturer that can provide additional 35mm ammunition. But there is a great doubt that a small local manufacturer will be able to produce them in a large quantities. But some experts say the Jeopard is an Su-25 killer. Because Russian doctrine and the Russian military's shortage of precision weapons compels attack pilots to fly very close to enemy forces in order to employ unguided rockets and bombs. According to some reports, the Russian Air Force already has lost 16 of its Su-25 and numerous helicopters in five months of hard fighting in Ukraine. As the Ukrainian Jeopards deploy, that number could rise. At least hundreds of servicemen of the Ukrainian army are known to have trained in Germany to operate these self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. The Jeopard delivery marks Germany's second of heavy weapons to Ukraine since beginning of war. Ukraine also hopes to secure modern air defense system from Germany, especially the RST. Thank you for watching.